Hello, this is Rice Snow. So let's continue to make uh, this Notepad application in Java. Yeah, so far we have created this file menu and uh, also uh, this format. Mm, so now we can choose this font. Also, we can change the font size. Yeah, like this. Mm. And this time we're gonna add uh, like a color options function to this color menu and uh, this is going to be uh, relatively simple coding so if, if you have watched my previous videos so maybe you already know how to do it but anyway let's start so first let's add some uh, items to this color so for this one I think uh, we're gonna prepare three options uh, color menu and J menu item so I color one I color two I color three and uh, so let's add okay so let's create another method public void uh, create uh, color menu okay and uh, let's uh, call this method from here. Hmm. Okay, and uh, so first uh, initialize uh, this color one. Equal new J menu item, and so so let's set white. So this is the uh, default color, and uh, add action with now and uh, this wait and this uh, no hmm, okay and uh, uh, set action command and uh, white and uh, add this to this uh, menu color uh, add Okay, so let's repeat this for uh, color two and color three. And uh, okay, so color two will be like a black theme, themed color, and color three. Um, so we're gonna choose blue. okay and uh, yeah I think this method is done and uh, okay let's add here case uh, white uh, ah okay so here we need to create uh, another class so uh, let's make another class from here class and uh, function and uh, color this time Mm. and okay GUI we need this GUI so and uh, public GUI GUI call GUI yeah let's create a method public Void uh, change color and uh, okay so and let's receive string color so yeah and now we can await uh, uh, initialization color uh, color call new function color this okay so let's use this color here so color dot change color method so that we just created and uh, let's send uh, yeah I think uh, we can type just type command 
So this means, uh, yeah, we're gonna send this white to this change color method. And uh, okay, let's copy and uh, black and also blue, I think, it's blue. Okay, so now we can receive this color information. So let's use this and do this uh, switch statement color and so white if you selected uh, white then uh, first window let's set window color get import yeah okay and also uh, let's set text area uh, set back ground white and finally uh, set foreground so this means uh, uh, font color. So font color, if background is white, then the font color uh, will be black. Okay, that's everything. And uh, okay, let's copy. And uh, black and uh, blue. So yeah, it's simple uh, for this black. Uh, so window is black text area is black actually we don't need to probably we don't need to set this window color but uh, yeah it's okay and uh, font font size is uh, font color is white this time because background is black and the blue okay uh, blue and uh, blue uh, font color I think white is better okay and maybe we should set the default color as well. Maybe, <laughs> just in case. So color uh, change color. So when application starts, uh, we're gonna send this default value. So to avoid null pointer error. So so default color white. So if you if you want to set black as a default color, then uh, you can type black. Here. Uh, black here so yeah let's check this and uh, okay now uh, let's uh, open, like Star Wars text and uh, okay let's change color white black okay good and blue yeah yeah it's working mm. so if you want to add any other color then uh, you can add something here and also you know if you want to uh, some uh, like a custom color then uh, you can type some uh, RGB number here so okay I'm gonna show you an example so you can type like a uh, RGB color chart so you can find this you know chart and so you can like uh, select the color you, uh, you want you know like this and then it shows these numbers so like uh, if you wanna like I don't know use this color then uh, so you can use these numbers so 28 186 186 so just a moment so instead of uh, this color default color blue you can type like this like new color so inside of this bracket 28 186 186 so like this so okay let's copy this copy this okay let's check it so now if you choose this blue yeah so we can use uh, so now we can use this color or uh, yeah if you want to give more freedom to to the users then uh, you can display uh, 
color palette on this window so you can let users choose any color you, you want so anyway so this uh, color function is working fine so oh I cannot see anything oh yeah right I shouldn't set yeah this text color as uh, yeah I should keep this as white otherwise you know everything is the same color so you cannot see anything yeah so okay so uh, we are done with this color too so we have done file format colors are done so only this is left edit so next time uh, we're gonna implement undo and redo function yeah so that's what we're gonna do so uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you again bye